Johnny Mac with five good news stories to start your day. Remember those horrible storms up by Buffalo around the holidays? Jay Withy went above and beyond to save two dozen people. He sheltered them in a school. He even broke a window and used the school's kitchen to ensure their safety. Did he get in trouble for breaking the window? No, not at all. The Buffalo Bills and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York, who were a sponsor of the team, thanked him for his heroic actions. They surprised him with two tickets to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, the Bills will not be there, but still kind of cool. With these selfless acts circulated after he left a note of apology at the school, to whom it may concern, terribly sorry about breaking the school window and for breaking into the kitchen. Got stuck at 8 p.m. Friday, slept in my truck with two strangers, just trying not to die. There were seven elderly people also stuck and out of fuel. I had to do it to save everyone and get them shelter and food and a bathroom. He signed the note with only his first name. That sparked curiosity about the identity of the man behind the heroic act. They figured it out, and it was retired Bills running back and Pro Football Hall of Famer Thurman Thomas, who presented with the the Super Bowl tickets. Thurman said, We love you. We know what you did on Christmas Eve was very heroic, and you're our hero. And the Bills and Highmark want to present you with these tickets to go watch the Super Bowl. You ever wonder if your dog is dreaming? According to Stanley Corrin, who's a professor emeritus of psychology, he says dogs don't only dream, but they can manipulate their dreams in a similar way, if not the same way that humans can. Corrin says dogs undertake breed-specific activities in their dreams. Dobermans are most likely changing away danger, while golden retrievers search for dream snacks or being cuddled by their owner. That's hilarious. Corrin says, We've basically found as dogs dream doggy things. Pointers will point at dream birds. Dobermans chase dream burglars. He also discovered the size of the dog impacts how often they dream. Smaller dogs have frequent shorter dreams. Larger dogs have less frequent longer dreams. Dr. Deirdre Barrett is a clinical and evolutionary psychologist at Harvard. She told People magazine, since dogs are generally extremely attached to their humans, it's likely your dog is dreaming of your face, your smell, and of pleasing or annoying you. Wait, my dog is dreaming about annoying me? You can improve your dog's dreams by exposing them to happy daytime experiences and providing them with a safe and comfortable environment to rest at night. They found a message in a bottle from 1983. It was fished out of the Pearl River. Jeremy Weir often collects driftwood and old bottles during his boating trips. He found this one while heading north on the Pearl River. He said the bottle's distinct shape and antique-looking metal clamp immediately caught his attention. He brought it home, he cleaned it, And he found a small plastic baggie inside, which turned out to be a letter written by a relative on behalf of a man named David. With the help of his daughter, who's a lawyer, Weir was able to contact David, who was just three years old at the time the letter was written. David and his wife were shocked and amazed by the discovery. Weir is now making plans to return the child letter to David in the upcoming weeks. Arfon Jones made a selfless decision to donate one of his kidneys to a stranger Arfon was trying to donate one of his kidneys to his daughter, but he wasn't a match and he couldn't follow through. His daughter was on dialysis for 10 hours every night. Then they got a call that said they found a suitable kidney. Sarah and the daughter said it was such a huge gift. Without the kidney, I wouldn't be alive today, possibly, or I'd certainly have to continue with 10 hours of dialysis. Dad said after his daughter got the new kidney, he felt like he had to stay on the living donor list. He had the procedure in December and said, felt like I'd given someone a nice Christmas present, and it was nice to know that I'm healthy enough to donate a kidney, given that I'm almost 70. I'm Bud Mishkin. My podcast, Before the Cheering Started, is all about the journey to success, the early years, the obstacles overcome, bad jobs, the before the cheering started years. It's Stephen Van Zandt quitting the music business and working construction. It's Bob Costas, long before a network gig, calling minor league hockey. It's Marta Kaufman and David Crane, selling ink toner over the phone before creating a cultural phenomenon, the TV show Friends. Before the cheering started with me, Bud Mishkin, join us for the journey. Bad news, good news. TikTok user Texas Horse Girl, well, Texas Horse Girl caught the flu. She wasn't feeling well. She stayed in bed, but she was worried about Her horse. After all, she's Texas horse girl. Her horse is named Kylo. Kylo must have known something was wrong. Kylo walked over to the window of Texas horse girl's bedroom, and he stayed right outside the window all day. So they opened the window. Kylo stuck his head in to make sure Texas horse girl was okay. 
This did well on TikTok. Some user said, we don't deserve animals. What a sweet baby. We truly don't deserve all the love that they give us. But I'll still gladly accept it with open arms all day, every day. Texas horse girl is feeling better and Kylo's still a horse. That's your good news for today. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, it's even on YouTube. See you next time. Daily Comedy News Podcast, 10 minutes a day about your favorite comedians, Chappelle, Gaffigan, Rogan, Mulaney, plus late night recaps. It's like Sports Center without all that sports stuff. More comedy. Daily Comedy News Podcast, seven days a week. Follow now wherever you get your shows.